hi again this is uh, rose at tranquility fountain farm um i've been this is part three of uh propagation so this is again earth propagation uh, i'm showing you another moth uh, which is the common smooth cap uh, this is um some dry common smooth it's with sort of sort of it's, it's already getting a bit moist just from the moisture in the air actually but when it's dry as you can see the little leaves are all curled up and uh, when it opens up you can see in here the leaves are slightly wavy this is a very see how they're slightly crinkled that's a good way of to, way of uh, identifying a uh, common uh, smooth cap it's not smooth at all it's wavy <laughs> Um, so what I, what I generally do when I'm propagating it, um, because you'll receive your moth, it'll be dehydrated. Uh, we do that so that it weighs less, but also, uh, depending on how long it takes, um, uh, we don't want it to get moldy or anything in the mail. So, um, uh, we recuperate rainwater, uh, which is the best thing for moths. Um... So, as you can see, it doesn't take long for it to pop back to life. It hydrates super fast. There you go. And again, this is another earth uh, substrate uh, moss. So, um, just as it uh, hydrates, um, it's, it's all pretty much the same because they have quite complex root systems. Uh, you've just got to be careful not to like rip the the plant away from its roots um, otherwise you can take a small piece of the carpet and put it into new substrate uh, we uh, make our own substrate uh, this is um, sort of uh, earth that we'll get from the forest and we compost it and we sterilize it and uh, it's uh, at the right acidity for moss that grows in the forest low light moss that grows in the forest um which is um on the website you'll see it'll be mentioned in the uh, description um if it's uh clay substrate wood substrate earth substrate likes to grow on rock it'll all be mentioned in the description uh so here you go as you can see it's all popped back to life again super fast and that's the amazing thing like moss can be dehydrated and go through a really hot summer and then as soon as it uh, sort of even even is a bit misty or there's a little bit of humidity in the air it'll pop back to life and that's an amazing one of the many amazing things about moss i love moss <laughs> um so yeah you just uh make a little hole there's already something growing in there uh, I think that's a that's a feather moss. Uh, maybe I can't see. I have to identify it properly. <laughs> uh, so you just take a little piece of this. Make sure you get some of the roots. Here you see there's lots of yummy roots. And look how long uh, common smooth cap grows. It's quite a tall moss. So when it's uh, when it's growing in your uh, in your tank, in your moss tank, or in your uh, in your moss garden you'll see it'll really cushion out into a beautiful sort of beautiful high uh, moss it's it's a really amazing common smooth cap Be absolutely beautiful with its wavy leaves so there yeah there you have it um, on Tranquility Fountain Farm we have about um, 20 different species of liverwort moss and lichen and uh, um, if you would like to know any, anything else if you need more sort of um, info uh, write me a message I'll try and get back to you um, if you think I need to do a, a video about something uh, let me know uh, like the video if you like it subscribe if you wish and uh, I'll see you again soon on Tranquility Farm. Oh yeah, uh, visit our little website. Um, it's tranquillityfountainfarm.com. Uh,
goodbye from the Mediterranean citizen in France. Take care, bye. <laughs>